guys. Today we're going to take a look at this basic play line that recently appeared in some of the stores that I frequently visit. Or rather, I will I will definitely be visiting them more frequently now that I know that from time to time they have really good 5 to 6 euro deals on the basic dolls. Actually, I should have <laughs> put them the other way around to make the skin shade go from dark to light I didn't get I didn't get the milly faced blonde barbie because she's everywhere and she's the standard version um that you can find in pretty much every store that carries those so I'm very glad that I managed to to get two of those darker shade ones. This shade is even deeper and darker than the Made to Move uh, Black Barbie. I guess it's quite close to the rainbow dressed fashionista. I like the dress with the magenta pink color and the blue flowers. Accordingly, she's wearing blue high heels. It's a simple doll. Her head moves, her legs can spread and she can lift them but she cannot bend them. And the arms just go to the sides and up and down so it's just the basic articulation, but we're going to look into that because I unboxed the other one that I got already. Here we have the Teresa faced one. She has a tan, so she's not totally pale. Her eyes are really, really nice. Overall, the face paint is quite mechanical. You can see it's done by the machine, so it's not very delicate, but since I had many, many Teresas to choose from, I just made sure I will get one with a rather good face paint. Her head was a, was turned to the left. I couldn't do anything about that. I'm not sure if I'm going to debox her for now. So she's having this really intense blue dress with red flowers, and she's wearing pink high heels, which in combination with this dress is a bit weird. Nonetheless, I really, really like her and for this price, it's a great doll. And then we have the pale Caucasian one, who has a quite original face. I don't remember seeing it anywhere. I'm gonna debox her in this video to use her head on a curvy made to move body so we'll have to see how it turns out if i ruin her or not hopefully not so she has a red dress with a deep violet and blue flowers matching with the flowers at least this time she has violet high heels i couldn't find any doll where the eyes were on the same level so I just made sure I get one of the better printed faces. So let's take a closer look at the dark version one. As you can see she has the really cute hair. It has quite a huge volume. What I'm a bit annoyed about is the tendency of Mattel to paint black dolls lips pink. It looks a bit clownish to me and that's the reason why in my unboxed version I removed her lipstick. So here we have the unboxed version. I combed her hair, it multiplied a lot. Um, we can see the flowers have two tones as in all of the other dresses here they are blue and green. 
I removed the lipstick. I shall repaint it soon, maybe with some more delicate color. She moves the arms up and down. I was wrong about them being able to move them to the side. So the only thing that goes to the side are the legs. The dress doesn't velcro in the back, so it's gonna probably be a bit of a drag to remove it. It happens with a lot of modern dresses recently that as soon as I try to lift them over the doll's head, they rip at some point. She's like a lion. And I really, really like this doll, so if you're able to get your hands on it, just take it with you. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this Caucasian version and since I like the face, even though it's very original, I'm gonna try to give her a bit of a bigger range of movement. Oh, by the way, here in the back you can see all of the beauties, all the versions. So this is the one I didn't get, maybe I'll regret it soon. I'm not a big fan of yellow, so I don't miss the yellow dress. She seems to have real pinkish uh, high heels, so I guess the Teresa ones are more in the peach variation. Through the box to me they looked a bit rosé or pink, but I guess in reality they are uh, orange to peach. Also then in this case fitting the dress better since the flower has orange parts in it. This lady is gonna get a body donor. I have here my only curvy made to move Barbie that I own. I still haven't managed to give her a proper hairdo and since Millie's face in this case is a bit too pink for the body and I just want to have some exchange I'm gonna try to combine those two. Here she is unboxed, quite cute. Nonetheless, the fact that the arms don't go to the sides and that she's pretty stiff. I hope that I'm not gonna destroy the head while removing it and give her a new life. The hair was glued to the box slightly. Um, I'm probably gonna have to comb it a bit. I guess it will grow and expand as well as the black Barbie. Wow, that went fast. The head removal with do those dolls is quite quick because they don't have those annoying plastic rods on the sides that keep the head deeply connected. So you just need to bend it a bit and apply some pressure and just remove the head. You can see the top is not that well produced. There are little crannies in the plastic. It's not perfectly glued but whatever. In our case as probably she'll soon just get some replacement head or even the Millie one. I'm not too bothered about it. Since I removed the plastic rods on all of my donor bodies to make the heads easier to swap, I hope the swap in this case will not be a big deal. I still want to be careful though. The first stage went well, oh, and the second pretty quick. So you can see it's always easier if those side parts are removed. Now on to the new head. Oh, voila, that went fast. That went pretty fast. 
So now we have this elegant lady, and I must say I'm a huge fan of hers already. Um, really, really nice. Uh, I like her. With those fancy shoes and this dress, she's now ready to go out for a nice dinner. And the, the shape of her head fits the curvy model, so she looks quite realistic in my opinion. And as to not leave Millie completely headless, I guess I'm just going to try to put her on this. Mm. Doesn't go so well, so I'm not going to force it. Also still she is a bit too pink for the body. So I'm gonna leave it like that and wait till maybe she finds a new donor. I hope you had fun and enjoyed this session. Let me know in the comments how you find this curvy combination. Mm -hmm.